Ambara Preserve trial evaluated the role of SGLT2 inhibitor ampagliflozin in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. It was a double blind randomized trial in 5,988 patients who had class 3 to 4 heart failure and ejection fraction above 40%. The comparison was between ampagliflozin and placebo in addition to usual therapy. Primary outcome measured was a composite of cardiovascular death or hospitalization for heart failure. Primary outcome event occurred in 415 patients in ampagliflozin group and 511 patients in the placebo group. This was statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.001. Main contributor to the benefit was a lower risk of hospitalization for heart failure in the ampagliflozin group. Reduction in composite endpoint was 21% and that of hospitalization for heart failure 29%. Time to first hospitalization was also longer in empagliflozin group. The effect was consistent in patient with or without diabetes. Uncomplicated genital and urinary tract infections and hypotension were more frequent in the empagliflozin group. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction was hitherto considered as difficult to treat group with lack of evidence-based therapy which can significantly improve outcome. Previous trials with candesartan, spironolactone and sacubitril velsartan had benefits of borderline statistical significance on cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure in HFPUF. Subgroup analysis had suggested that any benefit may have been preferentially seen in patients with LVEF of 40 to 49%. The cutoff ejection fraction in Embera preserved was 40%. According to the universal definition of heart failure, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction is heart failure with left ventricular ejection fraction of 50% or more. Heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction is heart failure with left ventricular ejection fraction from 41% to 49%. Pre-specified subgroup analysis in Embera preserved had ejection fraction values of 50% and 60% as thresholds. Hazard ratios of less than 1 were documented in each of the ejection fraction subgroups. Though treatment with empagliflozin reduced hospitalization for heart failure, it did not appear to affect the number of deaths due to cardiovascular or other causes. Others attribute it to the 23% discontinuation of medications for reasons other than death, though it was similar in the two treatment groups. 219 patients in the empagliflozin group died from cardiovascular causes and the corresponding figure in placebo group was 244. Health-related quality of life in patients enrolled for Embera preserved have been reported separately. Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire was used to assess health-related quality of life at baseline 12, 32 and 52 weeks. The effect of empagliflozin on reducing the risk of time to cardiovascular death or heart failure hospitalization was consistent across baseline KCCQ clinical summary score tertiles. It was also noted that empagliflozin improved health-related quality of life. The effect on quality of life appeared early and was sustained for at least one year. First set of journal references. One more reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, Share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.